Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. I just got home from work and got some quarry eggs. I got eggs two days ago and I don't know if you can see they're going to keep it here. I don't know about 100, 150 or so. Two days later, today, they uh, laid eggs again. I guess they weren't done. And I got a bunch of spots here and there in the back. Yada, yada, yada. That um, get more eggs. So I think I'm going to. Some I'm going to leave on the glass that I did the other day, and the others I'm going to put in this jaw. And I'm going to see some of the guys from the Brooklyn Aquarium Society Club on Saturday. Today's Thursday. And I'll just see if they want them. And if not, um, I don't know, I'll throw them in another tank somewhere. So let's collect some of these eggs. All right, so you guys know the drill by now. Here's the eggs. They take a razor blade. And they scrape. Actually, these eggs don't look great. A lot of white ones in there, but you never know. Oops. Come on. And then into the chart. So it's sticky. Can you see? Alright, let's uh Get some more. Is that more, my goodness? They are so sticky, I swear. All right, let's get more. Drops of peroxide, regular hydrogen peroxide, in that jaw to prevent fungusing. Ow, this heat is hot. Yes, uh, all right. You see all those little suckers on oh. Another little batch, and a dozen or so. And you go. All right, so I'm gonna put them in with these the black Berlin swords only because I have air over here and I don't have air over there. So I'm just gonna clip the jar like that. So it gets the heat from the from the water in the tank, but the water cannot get inside. See what I'm talking about? And then let me see. Take an airline. That's it. You know what? I have two airlines. What if we put two in there? What's the worst that could happen? They get extra air. Does it look like too much? All right, it looks like too much. Let's take this one out. Oh no, there's egg stuck to it. All right, it stays. <laughs> eh, no big deal, it's just air. All right, that's that. And uh, let me see if I can, if I still, did I save it? I had a, a I guess, just we'll call it a setback with angelfish fry uh, a couple of days ago. And I, I know I, I videoed it. I want to see if I can still find it. I'll show it to you. Freaking hilarious. So stupid. So I come home from work and I get into my daily ritual routine here. Get my brine shrimp all ready. Start doing my afternoon feeding. I'm doing a water change and I have a batch of koi angel fry in a jar submerged in another tank and I'm ready for these guys. They should be free swimming any day. I just did a whole water change for them yesterday, counted some out. I had about, I guess like 70-ish. And then this happened. The you son of a gun. Look at this poopal head. This guy decided to jump in and where are you, you little punk, you're in there, and eat all the angel fry. So, I'm back to zero. All right, now I have to wait for the angels to, <laughs> to lay more eggs. The stupidest things happen. You just can't predict this stuff. I, I, I never put lids on this, because I, I have the airlines in there and stuff, so. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the lid. So, just a setback, these things happen. Oh well. I'll see you guys later. Bye.